Welcome to the Division Weapon Guide. Today we are covering a weapon that we already covered in the past. The MP5 submachine gun. We're remaking this because we've added a lot more information to our guides. And we wanted to apply it to this weapon. In this guide we will talk about the general information, measurements, its statistics, the recommended weapon modifications, the recommended weapon talents, the weapon variants and our recommended class. The MP5 is an abbreviation of Machine Pistol 5, which means Machine Pistol 5. It is classed as a submachine gun, but it kind of fills the gap between the submachine guns and the assault rifles in the division. It is manufactured by Heckler & Koch and it was designed in West Germany in 1966. The weapon is medium sized with its 790mm in length and isn't very heavy either. It weighs 3.6 kilograms. It fires 5.56 by 45 mm NATO standard rounds. It has two fire modes, automatic or burst, depending on the variant. It doesn't have the highest damage, which is around 9000. The headshot multiplier is, as for all the submachine guns, 50%, which means that you will have 1.5 times the damage when shooting an enemy in their head. It is effective until the optimal range of 16 meters, though it can be hard to control the weapon at that range, with the rate of fire being around 800 rounds per minute. The handling characteristics aren't superior, but they are decent, with the accuracy being 21% for automatic fire or 31 for the burst fire. The stability is better at 39%, meaning the mostly upward recoil is relatively manageable. It has a good magazine size in comparison to the other submachine guns at 32 rounds, which you will be able to reload in 2.5 seconds. Just like all the other submachine guns, it gets increased critical hit damage. The MP5 holds 4 modification slots, the optic, the magazine, the underbarrel and the muscle. For the optic, we recommend the reflex sight which increases the optimal range and headshot damage. The magazine will contain an extended magazine with increased magazine capacity and rate of fire. The underbarrel we recommend the small grip, which increases the accuracy and stability. And finally, on the muzzle we want the flash hider, which increases the horizontal stability and critical hit damage. The superior and high-end weapon variants allow the weapon to have two or three weapon talents. Here are the three we recommend. The first weapon talent will be responsive, which increases the weapon damage by a percentage, when closer than 10 meters to the target. The second weapon talent is competent, which increases the weapon damage by a percentage for 10 seconds after using a skill. And the third weapon talent is accurate, which increases the accuracy by a percentage. The MP5 has four variants. The first one is the standard, which is called the MP5. The second one is the Navy MP5N. This variant has a classic design with a foldable stock and slender build, but it doesn't have increased statistics. The third one is the Burst Fire MP5A4. This variant has a more modern look due to the modified stock and it fires in burst, plus it has increased accuracy at 31%. And the final variant is the MP5ST. This variant has a different model due to the modified stock and barrel design. And it has increased accuracy at also 31%. The MP5 is class midway between the assault rifle and the submachine guns. It fits right in the pointman role. For this role, generally, the assault rifle and shotguns are selected. But since the MP5 is good in both close and medium range, it can kill two birds with one stone. For a build setup on the point man, click on the annotation that's on the screen right now. The setup is similar, except you want to select the MP5 ST as your primary weapon. We hope you now have an overview of the MP5 in the division. Thank you for watching. The sources that we have used are mentioned in the description. 
If you enjoyed the guide, please consider leaving a rating, subscribe for more related content and please support us on social media. If you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, feel free to leave those in the comment section 